Introduction to Numbers from 1 to 5 Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Now let us see what you will learn from this lesson. What are numbers and how to count and write numbers from 1 to 5? Today Pinky and her friends have their first music class. In the class, many flutes are placed on the table. The teacher has to give a flute to each child. But for this, she should know how many children are there in the class. This means that she should know the total number of children. To find out the number of children in the class, she makes the children stand in a row and starts counting them one by one. So he is one. She is two. He is three. She is four. And he is five. There are five children in the class today. So children, can you tell me how many flutes would be needed for five children? Let us see. For five children, we would need five flutes. Pinky, can you bring five flutes from the table? Yes ma'am, I will bring them. Then Pinky goes to the table and picks up five flutes one by one. One. Two, three, four, five. Here you go, ma'am. I have five flutes. Very good, Pinky. Now give one flute to one child and then you keep one for yourself. Okay, ma'am. Then Pinky gives a flute each to all the children one by one and keeps a flute for herself. Very good, Pinky. So, children, can you also count five things just like Pinky? You have seen how you can write each number as a special symbol. Let us learn to write these symbols. We write one like this, two like this, three like this. 4 like this and 5 like this. All of you must practice writing these symbols. That was all for today. In this video we learn what are the numbers and how to count and write numbers from 1 to 5. In the next video we will see some more examples of numbers. Until then Goodbye, friends. Interesting example, part 1. Children, in the last video, you saw how five flutes were counted and distributed among the children. In this video, we will see some interesting examples in which we will compare numbers. Today, Pinky has gone to the zoo with her mother. Mom, there are so many different types of animals. Yes, my dear. Can you tell me how many and which animals are there in each paddock? There is a lion in that paddock. There are one and two, two bears in that. The paddock next to it has one, two and three, three deers. And there are one, two, three and four, four monkeys in that. Mom, but which animal is in that water paddock? I have never seen it before. Children. Can you tell me 
Which animal is there in that water pedo? And what is its number? Come on, let's see. My dear, there are crocodiles in that pedo. Can you tell me how many crocodiles are there? One, two, three, four, and five. That means that pedo has five crocodiles. Absolutely correct. Very nice, Pinky. How different and colorful all these animals are. After going home, I will draw a picture of them. <laughs> okay, my dear. Let's go home then. Pinky then goes home and draws pictures of all the animals. Look, mom. How are these drawings? Wow, Pinky. You have made very good drawings. Come on. Now make a group of one type of animals and give each group a name. Okay, mom. But what should I name? My dear, the name of each group should be the name of the animal shown in it. Now below each group, write the number of animals in that group. Now can you tell me if there are more animals in the lion group or in the monkey group? There is one animal in the lion group and there are four animals in the monkey group. Amongst the numbers, four is more than one. Therefore, there are more animals in the monkey group. Very good, Pinky. Now tell me, are there fewer animals in the deer group or in the crocodile group? There are three animals in the deer group. And five animals in the crocodile group. Amongst numbers, three is less than five. Therefore, there are fewer animals in the deer group. Very good, Pinky. Now quickly wash your hands and come. Let me serve you food. So children, in this example, you saw that how Pinky compared the number of different animals. Can you also compare the number of things near you like Pinky? Tell me, which basket has more pens? The first basket containing 5 pens or the second containing 2 pens? Absolutely correct. 5 pens are more in number than 2 pens. Therefore, the first basket has more pens. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some examples of numbers from 1 to 5 in which we compared these numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples. Until then, goodbye friends. Interesting Example Part 2 So children, in the previous video you saw some examples of numbers from 1 to 5 in which you compared these numbers. In this video, we will look at some more examples and find out where Pinky might go wrong in understanding these numbers. Pinky has received a lot of gifts on her birthday. She is very excited to open them. Mom, can I open my presents and see what I have got? Yes, my dear. But before that, can you count your gifts and tell me how many gifts you have received? Okay, Mom. Pinky, with the help of her fingers, begins to count her gifts one by one. One, two, three, four and five. This means I have got five gifts. You did not count properly, Pinky. You have counted this gift twice. Come on, count again. And this time, 
count one gift only once. Okay, mom. One, two, three, and four. This means I have got four gifts. Yes, Pinky. This time you counted right. These are only four gifts. Come on. Now write down the number of presents on this paper. Okay, mom. Has Pinky written four properly? Come on, let's see. My dear, we don't write four like this. You have written four times one. We write each number as a special symbol. Oh yes. Here you go, mom. Is it okay now? Very good, Pinky. You have written four absolutely correct. Mom, can I open and see my gifts now? Yes, my dear. It is evening, and Pinky is placing the fruits on the table in a line. First, she kept two oranges, then two mangoes, and finally. An apple. Pinky, let me cut mangoes for everyone. Can you give me two mangoes? One and two. Take this, mom. Did Pinky give two mangoes to her mother? Pinky, you gave me two fruits, but these two are not mangoes. I did not ask you for any two fruits. I asked you. For two mangoes. Oh, okay, mom. Take this. One and two mangoes. Am I right this time? Yes, Pinky. Very good. Now, quickly put the rest of the fruits back inside and wash your hands. I will cut and bring these mangoes here. So that was all in this video. In this video, we learned. that how to correctly count and write the number of objects i hope you all have understood the counting from 1 to 5 properly bye friends introduction to numbers from 6 to 9 Hello friends I am the parrot welcome to this lesson let's see what you will learn in this lesson counting from 6 to 9 today there is a religious ceremony at choto's house he notices a bowl of laddu kept on the table on the other side of the table choto's mother is making a garland of flowers mom i am feeling very hungry Can I eat all these laddus? No, son. There are a lot of laddus. If you eat so many laddus, your stomach will start aching. Oh, well. How many laddus are there in this bowl? Chotu, I'm very busy right now. Count and tell how many laddus are there. Okay, mom. 1 2 3 4 and 5. This means there are five laddus in this bowl, right? Children, did Chotu count the laddus in the bowl properly? Let us see. Very good, Chotu. Now you can eat two out of these five laddus. One and two. Thank you, Mom. For children like Chotu, you also know numbers from one to five, right? Let us now see how we count something if it is more than 5 in number. Mom, may I also help you in making the garland? <laughs> yes, why not, Chotu? But first tell me how many flowers are there in this garland? Okay, Mom. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 How many more? I don't know that. How will you count the rest of the flowers? Let me help you in this. With these five flowers, if we bring one more flower, it will become six flowers. This means there are six flowers. 
then if we bring another flower then it will become seven that means seven flowers then with these seven flowers if we bring another flower it will become eight that means eight flowers and then if we bring the last flower it will become nine that means nine flowers so do you understand yes mom come on now you count yourself and tell me how many flowers are there in the garden one two three four five six seven eight and nine that means there are nine flowers very good chotu now it is time for the religious ceremony wash your hands and come quickly so children can you also count till 9 like chotu that was all for today in this video we learned to count nine flowers in the next video we will see some examples of numbers from 6 to 9 till then goodbye friends So children in the previous video you learned to count nine flowers in this video we will compare different numbers today chotu's mother is cleaning the refrigerator she has kept all the items out of the refrigerator chotu comes to help her mom can i help you to put all these stuff back in refrigerator yes chotu why not First one by one count each item and tell the number of that item. Come on, let's count the number of these items with Chotu. Okay, mom. 1 2 3 4 5 6. And six. These are 6 six eggs. 1 2 3 4 5 6. And seven. These are seven bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are eight lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These are nine chilies. Very good, Chotu. You counted all the items correctly. Come on, now let's keep all these inside the refrigerator. So children, did you also count the number of these items properly like Chotu? Now Chotu and his mother are going to break the dried clothes from the terrace. Chotu, can you tell me which one of these two wires has more clothes on them? There are six clothes on this wire and seven clothes on that wire. In numbers, seven is more than six. Therefore, there are more clothes on the second wire. Very good, Chotu. You are absolutely right. Now let's look all the pots. Which of these pots has fewer flowers? Can you count the number of flowers in these pots and tell which flower pot has fewer flowers? Come on, let's see what Chotu answers. There are eight flowers in that flower pot, and nine flowers in the other flower pot. In numbers, eight is lesser than nine. Therefore, the first pot has fewer flowers. Was your answer also the same? <laughs> Very good, Chotu. Once again, you are correct. Come on, now let us take all the dried clothes quickly and go back downstairs. So children that was all for today in this video we saw some examples of numbers from 6 to 9 in which we compared these numbers in the next video we will see some more examples and learn about some common mistakes and myths till then goodbye friends Interesting example part 2 So children in the previous video you compared numbers 
In this video, we will look at some more examples and learn where Chotu could go wrong in understanding these numbers. Today is a holiday and Chotu is cleaning his room along with his mother. While cleaning his desk, he accidentally drops his piggy bank. The piggy bank breaks and Chotu gets excited seeing so many coins in that. Look mom, so many coins. I will buy a new toy for myself with these. Yes Chotu, but before buying a toy, you should know how many coins these are. Can you count these coins and tell me how many of them are there? Yes mom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 9. That means there are 9 coins. Children, did Chotu correctly count the number of coins? Let us see. Son, you did not count the coins one by one. These are not 9 coins. Come on, count them again one by one. Alright mom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This means these are 7 coins. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely correct, dear. Come on, now write the number of these coins on this paper so that you may remember how many coins these are. Here it is, mom. Chotu, you have written 7 in reverse. It is written correctly like this. Do you understand? Yes, mom. Come on now, let us finish cleaning quickly. Can you write numbers from 6 to 9 properly on a piece of paper? Be careful not to write any number in reverse like Chotu. While cleaning his room, Chotu finds a box of many color pencils. Look mom, there are pencils of so many different colors. Can I draw a picture with them? <laughs> yes Chotu, these are 9 pencils. Take six pencils from them and draw a picture with them. Okay, mom. Chotu takes all the pencils. Children, can you tell if Chotu has taken six pencils from the box or more or less than six? Let us see. Hey, Chotu, you have taken all the pencils. You have to take only six pencils, son. Oh, okay, mom. One, two... 3, 4, 5 and 6. Is it okay now, mom? <laughs> yes, son. Very good. Now you make the drawing. So, children, that was all in this topic. In this video, we learn how to correctly count and write the number of objects. I hope all of you understood this topic properly. Bye, friends. What is the meaning of zero? Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Children, let us see what we will learn in this video. We are going to learn what is zero. Can you tell me which is the number left if all the things starts to disappear one by one? And we will also learn how do we write zero. Today, four of Chotu's friends have come to play at his house. Now it is getting dark. So his friends are leaving his house one by one. First there were four friends. Then one went home. Now there are one, two and three friends left. Then another went to his house. Now there are one and two friends left. And then another went. Now only one friend is left. Finally, he too went home. So, did you see? There are no friends left. In such a situation, what can you say about the number of Chotu's friends? Yes, not a single friend being there means that at this time, there are 
zero friends at his house. So by reducing the number of objects or people, what we are left finally is with the number zero. It is night, and Chotu is eating halwa. His mother asks him to brush his teeth before sleeping, but Chotu does not listen and falls asleep. That same night, he dreams that there are hot jalebis in front of him, but he is unable to eat because there is pain in his teeth. So let us see if Chotu was able to eat those sweets or not. I will eat just one piece of jalebi, not much. But what is this? All of a sudden, one of his five teeth breaks and falls down. <laughs> After breaking one of the five teeth, now how many teeth are left in your mouth, Chotu? Children, can you also imagine now how many teeth are left in Chotu's mouth? Yes, of course. Let us count now. One, two, three. And four. Here are four teeth. Four teeth, mom. Thank God, I still have four teeth left. Let me taste some jalebi. Oh no! Another one of your teeth has broken. How many teeth are left after one of the four teeth is broken? Come on, let us count. One, two, and three. Which means there are only three teeth left. Just three teeth. Let me quickly eat the jalebi. As soon as Chotu opens his mouth, another one of his three teeth breaks and falls. Oh no! One more tooth has broken. Now how many teeth are left, Chotu? Come on, let's count. One and two. Now only two teeth are left. Now how can you eat jalebi with two teeth? At least drink its syrup. As Chotu opens his mouth, another one of his two teeth breaks and falls. How many teeth are left now? Yes, there is only one tooth left. Chotu stands up terrified, and then suddenly the only tooth in his mouth also breaks. Chotu, one by one, all your teeth have broken. So, how many teeth are left in your mouth now? Zero tooth. Not a single tooth is left. Frightened Chotu wakes up and runs to his mother. Mom, all my teeth have broken. Not a single one is left. Zero teeth are left. See this. <laughs> you must have had a dream, Chotu. But if you don't brush twice a day, one by one, all your teeth will get spoiled, and there will be zero teeth left in your mouth. Mom, now I will definitely brush twice a day. So friends, did you enjoy learning about zero? So that was all for today. Let us revise what all we have learned today. When we reduce things till we do not have a single thing left, then we say we have left with zero thing. In the next video, we will look at some more examples to understand zero better. Till then. Goodbye friends. Examples So children, in the last video you learned what is the meaning of zero. And when there is not a single object left, it is called zero. Children, in this video, we will see some examples of zero, in which we will develop an understanding of objects decreasing one by one. Now, Chotu has started eating fruits instead of sweets. Let's see which fruit he wants to eat today. Mom, please give me some grapes to eat. Pinky had eaten grapes, and there are only four left. Have these. I will bring more later. Okay. I have eaten one out of four grapes. Now tell me how many grapes are left? If I ate one out of four grapes, then now there are one, two and three. That means three grapes. Let me eat one out of the three grapes. Now tell me how many grapes are left? 
Out of three, if you eat one grape, then one and two are left. That means two grapes. Well done, Chotu. I ate one out of two grapes. Now, how many grapes are left? So, one grape is left. Well done, Mom. Now, if I eat the last remaining grape also, then how many are left? Not, Not a, a single, single one. one. That, that means, means zero. zero. Now, all the grapes are finished. Did you see, friends? Chotu has developed a good understanding of zero. Chotu has created a new game with his friends. Let's see how he plays the game of zero with his mother and his sister. Pinky, I played a game in school today. Would you like to play with me? Wow, definitely. Let mom also play with us. Mother also joins. Come on, let me show you how to play this game. Okay. I will spell out a number loudly. Both of you have to clap as many times. No less or no more than that number. Are you ready? Absolutely. Five. One clap. Two claps. Three claps. Four claps. And five claps. Three. One clap, two, two claps, claps, and three claps. One. One, One clap. clap. Zero. Sister and mother were about to clap, but they quickly lowered their hands. Did you enjoy playing this game? So children, in this example you saw that zero quantity of anything means not even one. Can you also one by one reduce the number of things to reach the number zero? Look at the number of things around you and reduce their number one by one until you reach the number zero. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we reduced the number of things one by one and understood the number zero. So see you soon in our next video. Till then, goodbye children.